Right, staying with politics, two weeks after ditching Action SA, its former Gauteng chairperson, Rungani Baloyi, has formed a new political party known as Shiluva. Uh, Baloyi's party is targeting the youth and is already preparing to contest next year's elections. Baloyi announced the formation of his new political party in Johannesburg yesterday. He joins me now live in studio to discuss this further. Uh, thank you very much for your time uh, here on ENC. So when did you decide that you're going to uh, now form a brand new political party? Look, just after my exit from Action SA, it was quite evident for me that there's no space for young people who are not prone to a type of military type of behavior or radicalism, but people who are rational and who just want to get things done within the confines of the law and realizing that in the body politics, there's no options for young people. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to now thinking again of where do you go and join and contribute your agency, but then we started to realize that actually our agency must be determined or put towards a specific new vehicle that will attract young people and give young people hope that finally there's a new vehicle that is led by young people and for young people. Mm. I mean, you left Action SA just two weeks ago. Yes, time happens, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> that thing has happened. I think the, 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 the deeper realization is, is the state of affairs in our country mm. and the appreciation that 2024 is only some few months away. So it's important for people who've got the capacity, wherewithal, and the competence to do something, to get on the ground and do something. Because a number of people, are, are young, young people in particular, are despondent, feel frustrated, and also feel that they've been, they, they, they can't progress in politics. Meanwhile, we are the biggest membership in any political party, but yet our needs are subservient to the needs of any main um, mother body political party. So what happens to the needs of young people? Mm. In 2024, after the elections, there'll be a round table with a few people around there who are speaking about the path of the country and who works with who. And that will not be made on the basis of what's in the interest of the country or what's in the interest of young people. Mm. It will be made on the basis of their party political partisan interest and how this party gets that position. And we said, but this is not right. We must insert ourselves to also ensure that we, see, we hijack the agenda and put the agenda of what's in the interest of our country. Me and you still will live longer than Herman Mashab and, and Helen Zill. So it's incumbent for me and you to realize that this is our future these people are dealing and gambling with and we must get involved and no one must give us permission. This is equally our country. We are the biggest voting demographic. Yeah, yeah. So in, in terms of SA context, you know, the ballot paper is becoming longer and longer. The pages are becoming more and more. So you feel there's still space for more political parties? Strategically, Shiloba is X. Yeah. So where are you going to find us on the pilot paper? <laughs> At the very bottom. You're not going to go through <laughs> and search in the middle. You're going to go to the bottom. <laughs> what is our, uh, our uh, I mean, our, what IEC also looks for your abbreviation. Mm. It's X. So you're going to go to the bottom of the pilot paper, look for X, and you make your X. Mm. So for us, we're quite intentional about the name. Even though there's more than 95 parties which have been registered, the number of young people who are voting is still not increasing. It tells you that there's a void in the market and someone must fill that void or attempt to fill that void and wake up a sleeping giant, which is the ages between 18 and 45. When someone can animate and capture the aspirations of those people, I'm telling you, my sister, the type of conversation we'll be having after 2024 will be a very different conversation. Mm. So you still, so I'm asking the question in the context of the many options that South Africans are now given. You mm. still think there's still room for more? Absolutely. What is democracy if it's not about application of choice? Yeah. Who must determine when is enough enough? I really think that those who mobilize and excite the majority of the people and uh, they're given a chance, they must be given a chance to govern. And no one must put a limit. So if tomorrow uh, you uh, wants to open a part of, of people who dress like you, uh, brown shirt, <laughs> brown blazer, black pants, mm. do that as long as you operate within the confines of, of, of the law. And the other nonsensical argument I want to dismiss from a dizzying height is that new parties dismantle or give ANC a chance to keep going and dismantle the opposition. People are reacting with so much entitlement because this was their previous space. We are getting in, no one is going to give us approval. We don't want permission from anybody. We are going to mobilize our peers. Our peers are going to see themselves in us as we lead. We are going to field may, uh, premier candidates of young people and ensure that we take to parliament young capable people. This thing of Parliament becoming a, a, a thing for uh, people to go and retire and sleep nicely and some of those to be rebel rousers and cause violence. We are going in there to exert our influence mm. to ensure that we pass the right laws and to steer this country forward. What do you say uh, to people who reacted uh, yesterday by saying, well, uh, Shiluba basically is a, a breakaway of a breakaway? Not entirely. I left uh, Action SA. Mm. It was well documented. I justified my reasons. And then we started a new vehicle. It's not a breakaway. Ordinarily, you would see 
10 different leaders and leaders of yesteryears who were part of exile launching a political party through fanfare. This is very different. It's two young people who are saying all we have is our time and our agency mm. and our energy right now. And that's what we're going to contribute and give. We are, we, are, we, we are hopeful that many young South Africans are going to respond positively. In fact, over just the past 24 hours, thousands of young people have already responded, wanting to engage and understanding the party and also sign up membership, which is a good thing because for the first time, young people see a vehicle which is not closed already, mm. where everyone has a position. All of you must just come and support. It's not the case here. This is a, a vehicle which is starting from ground up. We believe there's sufficient time before elections and we're going to focus and ensure most importantly we deal with the ideas that represent the party that will be translated into policies that we'll share with South Africans. Mm. Uh, Musek, uh, he was a councillor in mm. Eguruleni under the leadership of the now uh, ousted mayor mm. um, uh, uh, Tanya Campbell mm. but you went into that briefing yesterday to announce him as chairperson of Shiruba. Yeah. Um, was it coincidental that uh, it happens on the same day that she's ousted? It wasn't, well, it, it, some, some things needed to happen, and he was unhappy about how we've been engaging for a period of time, okay. and more so after I've left to, to with what's happening, because part of the lies that, was, that were told about me by Michael Bowman was the fact that I have been insisting to work with the ANC, including in Ekuruleni. Meanwhile, the actual story in Ekuruleni is that the caucus met, the caucus leadership then contacted me after the caucus met to say, a decision has been made. We want to, we want to contest for the speaker position, because from our understanding, the mayor, I mean, the EFF and the ANC have not found each other, and if there's a third candidate, the third candidate might 